Tiger, thank you. Well, DC News Now is your local election headquarters. It's primary election day in Virginia, and there are several key congressional races with very competitive primaries. DC News Now's Leonard and Fleming spoke to voters about the changes they want to see. There are some key and competitive house races that are commanding voters' attention today, and that includes two, five, seven, and ten. And there's also a Senate race. I think it's definitely important, especially like for the younger generation to vote. Voters like Reese Miller are casting their ballots in the Virginia primary election. I think we only focus on the presidential elections, but don't realize like how important these are for like our everyday life and how they all feed up to the president. So I feel like, yeah, I think it's definitely important to just come out and like do my part. Issues like crime, abortion, immigration, and the economy are driving people to vote Tuesday. There are many key races to watch, but especially in the Congressional District 7 to replace outgoing Democratic he's, U.S. He's Representative Abigail Spanberger, who is running for governor uh, next year. Uh, Several Democrats and Republicans are running in the primary. But you're right. Philip Zizzo of Woodbridge says people should come out to vote. And if, if you don't vote, you don't have a right to complain. It's just like if, if, if you don't buy a lottery ticket, don't complain that you didn't. You, know, you got to be in it to win it. Voting, I think, is very important. Dorothy Farley of Alexandria says there's so much at stake in every election. It begins here and bubbles all the way up to the top elections in November. The polls will remain open until 7 p.m. tonight for those hoping to come out and vote. Reporting from Woodbridge, Virginia, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.